So, aber lasst uns mal gucken, was Herr äh, Mohr zu ACC sagt. Das würde mich jetzt wirklich mal brennend interessieren, was ein realer Rennfahrer mit seinen Erfahrungen, die er mitbringt, zu ACC sagt. Und da gibt es ein Video, das geht 17 Minuten. I've read the comments. Oh. So here we are. We're finally doing it. Here are my initial thoughts on ACC. Oh, bin gespannt. I've been reading the comments. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to give my feedback on ACC. And here we are. We're finally going to do it. I've, I put some time into playing the game. And I feel like I have a good enough assessment now where I can give you my feedback and my feelings on the game, especially with the 1.9 update, which supposedly revolutionized the game and changed it completely. So I gave it a go and um, these are my thoughts. I'm going to break it down to the... Die fallen übrigens nicht gut aus. Das merkt man jetzt schon nach 46 Sekunden. Ist nur, ist, ich rate nur. Ich rate nur. Okay? Also nicht, dass ich das weiß. Ich rate nur. Vermutlich nicht so gut. The good things, the things that I feel are tunable and probably could be adjusted and the stuff that just really doesn't, I don't connect with. So, um, oh, das hat er, okay, das Video wird nicht gut. <lacht> das Video wird nicht gut. <lacht> Let's break that down. We'll start with the good stuff. Oh, the good stuff is aber very short. Right off the bat, I think we can all agree that the graphics are some of the best graphics of any sim racing game on the market. Mm -hmm. Automobilista is noch ein bisschen geiler. So, I mean, that's there's not really a discussion there. It, it's amazing. The the graphics are nice. Um, the loading time is phenomenal. You know, the okay, für die Leute, weil ich das letztens hat mich schon mal jemand kritisiert, dass ich das nicht äh, übersetze. Ich mache euch den Untertitel an, weil ich möchte nicht wie so ein Papagei alles äh, nachquatschen. Ich hoffe, ihr könnt das verstehen, weil ich möchte nicht immer, wenn ich Pause mache, jeden Satz übersetzen. Ich mache euch den Untertitel an, okay? Weil das jetzt wirklich auch schon ein, zwei Mal in den Reaction passi Reactions passiert ist, dass mir jemand gesagt hat, ich möge das bitte übersetzen, aber ich möchte halt kein Papagei sein. Also nehmen wir einfach den Mittelweg. Ich mache euch den äh, Untertitel an und ihr könnt mitlesen. Ist das ein Deal? Layout, the, uh, it's just user friendly. It's really, really easy to navigate. Um, so that's a definite plus for me. Uh, it does look pretty. We have rain. We have all sorts of different textures. The grass is nice. It's 3D grass. But most of the time, I'm not really playing a game for how pretty it is. I want to know how good does it drive. But we're going to get to that later on. This game is using an engine that is made for 2023 <laughs> at the time of filming this video, uh, which is great, which makes it beautiful. There's a lot of texture, there's rain, not that the rain, we'll get to that in another video, but I don't find that the rain is very realistic. Maybe the visibility is, <laughs> but aside from that, the driving feedback in the rain. Eh. Um, what, what's cool is that there's actual, I, I'd say the The best part about the physics of the game would be the tire uh, thermal model. Let's just isolate it to that. It's really awesome that you can have a little bit of variation with tire pressure. You really need to pay attention. And in real life, that's a huge element. It's actually probably the most important aspect on the setup of the car. You can have the perfect spring package, the right damping, everything. But if your tire pressures aren't in the window, the tires aren't going to work and you're not going to have the grip. You won't have the tire wear, you won't have the grip. So that part of it is incredible. I love that you can fine tune the tire pressures and uh, just get it in that sweet spot for the pressure and temperature. So that's a huge win. But I would say in terms of physics, it really just stops there. Und wir sind erst bei 3 Minuten 5. Wow. Jetzt bin ich ja mal gespannt. Ay caramba. Bei grundsätzlich... Bei einigen GT, äh, GT, GT3-Fahrern, also gibt ja schon so ein paar, die sind ja mehr so in der ACC-Schiene unterwegs. Puh, jetzt, also, puh, jetzt bin ich gespannt. Ich möchte übrigens davon absehen, Leute, äh, dass wir das jetzt hier behandeln wie äh, der reguläre Internetkonsument, dass wir jetzt hier gleich völlig losragen, weil er ACC angeht, weil ich das für total schwachsinnig befinde. Also ich möchte auch in weiser Voraussicht sagen, schreibt bitte keine sinnlosen Kommentare. 
Wenn ihr welche schreibt, versucht doch einfach ein konstruktives Gespräch zu finden. Okay? Das würde ich total toll finden, weil ich fühle mich jetzt hier überhaupt beispielsweise gar nicht angegriffen, weil ich habe bei weitem nicht die Expertise wie dieser junge Mann, der auch im Real Life fährt, um das einzuschätzen und zu bewerten. Okay? Und ich denke, einige von euch da draußen auch nicht. Also nur, weil er jetzt etwas sagt über die SIM, die hier in diesem Kanal am meisten gefahren wird und gezeigt wird, kam halt nicht. Moving on to the stuff I feel is tunable, but not quite spot on, and I think overdone in many ways, is the sound. The sound is... It's just oversaturated. There's too much going on. I find that when you pass by a wall, a wall that normally you wouldn't ever have reverb off of, you have like insane reverb and you hear it in the cockpit. I think that's something you can probably tune out. But inside the real race car, I mean, this is what it sounds like. Klingt fast wie äh, Rennsport. Äh, Copy. And this is what it sounds like inside an ACC cockpit. Nee, Mitzi, ich will dich nicht streicheln. Ich will zurückspulen. This is what it sounds like inside an ACC cockpit. Also ich meine, das Real-Life-Video klingt ein bisschen krasser und dumpfer. Da muss man einfach sagen, jo, das stimmt. Also man hat schon das Gefühl, dass man im Real-Life logischerweise mehr im Cockpit drin ist. Also ich verstehe diesen Punkt. Klingt valide. Klingt wirklich valide. You can hear the difference. Like in, in the real car, there's a lot more engine noise and Es ist natürlich aber auch ein bisschen ungünstig, dass er jetzt zwei unterschiedliche Stellen nimmt. Also es wäre fair gewesen, selbe Bedingungen zu haben. Ist aber auch nicht so einfach zu äh, schaffen. Ich denke, we get the gist, was er uns sagen möchte. Transmission noise, whereas in ACC, you hear tires squeal, you hear debris on the road, you hear marbles shooting up. When we're in the cockpit of the car, you really don't hear that stuff. Das ist ja, liegt ja daran, dass Menschen das wahrscheinlich haben möchten, gebe ich ihm aber recht, weil wenn wir jetzt bei anderen Leuten beispielsweise mitfahren, im realen Leben, hören wir sowas auch nicht. Das stimmt. Da hat er definitiv recht. Um, you don't hear the reverb off the wall unless you're on a street circuit with side pipes, which the AMG has side pipes, but you have to be you know, inches off the wall to get that sort of reverb effect coming into, into the cockpit. Um, I just find that it's overdone and I can understand why it's like that. I think it's catered to um, just exaggerate and amplify your senses and you f the feeling inside the car and that's totally fine. It does give you a cool larger than life experience which I mean, it, it's, it's like a cell phone camera. You can have one that's sharper and more flat colors or you can have ones that are um, over saturated and just over edited or, or overdone so it's just personal preference and it's what you like as, as a driver or as a user of the game ich persönlich finde das übrigens total toll dass man dieses äh, zeug krisseln hört unterm auto ich feiere das übelst hart und ich freue mich auch wenn man hört dass die reifen rutschen weil man ja nicht so viel haptisches Feedback hat und so hat man ja die Möglichkeit, darüber auch noch ein bisschen Feedback zu kriegen, was ich sehr schön finde. Also ich kann nachvollziehen, was er meint, wenn wir natürlich jetzt wieder in diese Real-Life-Schiene rein wollen, weil er vergleicht ja nun auch einfach ganz klipp und klar, weil er im Real-Life fährt, wie real ist jetzt äh, ACC, kann ich seinen Punkt definitiv nachvollziehen und der ist auch fair. Force Feedback ist another thing. I, I tried my best to fine tune the settings. I just don't know if I ever arrived at the right ones to dial out this one particular feeling that I have through the middle of the corner. 
and it's like this wobbling effect. I don't know if they're trying to simulate. Oh, darf ich dir meine schicken? Weil da gibt's das nicht. Ich weiß ganz genau, was du meinst. Das habe ich übrigens mit deinen in iRacing. Äh, nee, das habe ich mit deinen in IC, äh, in, in, uh, in ACC. Weil wenn ich deine nehme, habe ich genau denselben Effekt, weil seine sind für iRacing gemacht. Und äh, wenn ich meine in iRacing fahre, habe ich das in iRacing. Sidewall wobble or deflection, oh. but it just seems off-putting to me. Where I just don't know what's going on, and it's almost like a numb damping, like it, it's a, a dampening effect. Where I just I don't know actually what's happening underneath me. And I think with more hours in the game, I might be able to get past that. But it just doesn't feel natural for me coming from the real car into um, ACC and driving it. It just there's something off with the wheel. Like I said, I've dialed, I've tried everything on my Simucube software to try to mitigate that issue, but for some reason, it's just not possible to get rid of it, and could be something that I'm missing. I'd love to know if any experienced ACC users are watching this. If you could help me in the chat, maybe we could help mitigate this issue, but for Sehr now... Gerne. Ich würde dir super gerne meine, meine uh, Settings schicken. Vielleicht funktionieren die für dich besser, weil bei mir ist das nicht da. Vielleicht habe ich ja die Möglichkeit, uh, ihm zu helfen. Ich kann ja, also vielleicht findet er das ja wirklich besser. Schöne Grüße gehen übrigens raus an Stun, mein Schnucki Hase, weil ich fahre seit zweieinhalb Jahren, seitdem ich die Wheelbase habe, immer noch dieselben Settings. Mhm. My Simucube Software and I just could not for the life of me get rid of this like mid-corner wobble effect and um, you can see it clear as day that it's happening. It's just really off-putting and I don't know if it's something that can be tuned out or if it's just part of the game. Lastly, for those of you who have motion, I mean, the motion is okay, but I feel like it's a little slow. I don't know why. The reason why I love motion on other platforms like iRacing, for instance, is because it's really, really quick. And for some reason, it feels just really slow and, and too over dampened. And no matter what I've done with the settings, I just can't make it really quick and sharp to change directions to get that feeling of the car moving around. So, I mean, again, it's, it's a smoother experience, but it's almost so smooth where it feels like I'm on a, a boat sailing through through the ocean. Um, it's just not useful because it's not quick enough. And that's the only reason why I started using motion in the first place is because the D-Box I'm using is quick enough where it gives me a really sharp input. And I feel like I'm getting that sensation of like um, G-loading through the corner. So I, um, although it doesn't travel much, it's very quick. And that's what's good about the motion. But I just feel like it's lacking a little bit on ACC. Das kann ich leider nicht einschätzen, da kann ich nichts zu sagen. Das habe ich nie ausprobiert. Das, also da muss man ihm jetzt halt einfach mal... Ich meine, man sollte ihm generell vertrauen, weil der fährt so ein Auto im Real Life. Der weiß einfach am besten. Also wirklich. Deswegen sage ich ja, egal wie das Ding hier ausfällt gerade, der Dude fährt im Real Life ein AMD GD3, GD4, der weiß halt, wovon er redet. Auch wenn er das jetzt... Meinetwegen hätte er das auch volles, volles Cartoon rausbrettern können und hätte das Ding komplett zerruppen können, hätte ich gesagt, du, ich fahre das 2800 Stunden, mir bricht das mein kleines Herz, aber weißt du was, deine Kompetenz übersteigt meine, weil ich habe im Real Life da noch nicht drin gesessen. Ich hab, kann mir jetzt nicht anmaßen, irgendwas dagegen zu sagen, du. Now let's get into the The driving, behavior and performance. I think that's what most of you are waiting for. And... I just, <laughs> I think everything with, in terms of driving, everything starts with braking. And if you don't have the right tempo and timing on the brakes, then it just completely falls apart. At the end of the day, the brakes are what separate the good drivers and the bad drivers or the average drivers. So having the technique on the brake and being able to manipulate the car and rotate the car in on the brakes is everything for me. The timing, the pressure, the release, the timing of the release. And I just find that every type of corner, I found myself braking with high pressure, higher than normal pressure, and sustained 100% pressure. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the actual pressure is in terms of you know what you're pressing on your pedals. It's all about the variation in the types of corners, high speed, medium, low speed, high grip, low grip, uh, medium grip kind of corners, I just found I was breaking at 100% all the time. And Und da gebe ich dir 100% recht. Und das nach 2000, runden wir auf 3000 auf. 
da gehe ich hundertprozentig mit dir mit. Kein Spiel, keine Sim macht das wie ACC. In ACC rammelst du absolut in jede Kurve volles Cartoon rein. Volles Cartoon. Ob du in, ich habe keine Ahnung, wie diese Kurve heißt, in, äh, in, auf Spar, wo du links runterfährst und dann zu, äh, zu dieser anderen. Maga, da rammelst du so in die Bremse rein, <lacht> fährst da durch, oh, knallst, im, nee, nicht oh, ruhig, man knallt da volles Brikett rein in ACC. Du gehst, äh, ey, ohne Scheiß, ich sag's, wie es ist, jedes Mal, wenn ich iRacing fahre, denke ich mir so, what the fuck is actually happening? Weil du so zärtlich einfach <lacht> entschleift das ein bisschen, das ist super entspannt, das kannst du ein Automobilista, kannst du das auch machen, das kannst du in Dirt machen, das ist alles nur so Bremse streicheln, in ACC, rabams, Junge, da hast du das Gefühl, du kommst hinten aus der Wand, kommst du wieder raus, Junge. Da gebe ich ihm 100% recht und ich habe nicht mal eine Ahnung von Autorennfahren. Aber das bestätige ich. Und das war das most efficient für mich. Going to a fast corner, a dab of 100%, yep. and then release was the most efficient way to keep the balance on the car and yep. to get through the corner. Yep. Whereas in real life, in the same kind of corner, you would use, let's say, the equivalent in percentage, because we don't use percentage in the real car, we're using pressure, and it's, it's, very dynamic based on grip based on tires based on temperature track temp so there's a lot more variables but for the most part in a, a corner on acc you would go 100 in real life you might go with the equivalent of 20 so there's a difference in the timing the technique and that is something that took me so long to get used to and i feel like i never i don't want to drive ACC for an extended period of time because of that. Yep. I'm not the type of uh, driver where I smash the pedal down and just ride the ABS all the time. I just don't find that it's the most efficient way to drive. What separates the elite drivers from the average drivers, it's understanding where that threshold is on the pedal, not just mashing the pedal down to 120 bar and letting the ABS do the work. It's maybe going to 80 bar, which is the threshold where the grip limit is, and maybe being a little bit over, but releasing to that threshold and balancing on the threshold as the grip goes down because the downforce drops and you start bleeding the pedal off. Whereas I find in ACC, you just keep your pedal down and break at 100% for a long period of time. So yep. the timing is off and, and I just think that that is a deal breaker for me in terms of realism, doesn't mean that it's not fun. Okay, so if we distinguish the difference between fun and realism, it's fun, but it's not realistic. So let's just split those two. Ich weiß gar nicht, warum er da so zaghaft ist. Er kann doch so einfach sagen, hau raus den Scheiß. Knall uns das Ding einfach um die Ohren, Mann. Du fährst im Real-Life-Auto, du weißt am besten, wie es sich anfühlt. Raus damit. Posaun ist raus, ist scheißegal, ob die Leute stinkig sind oder nicht. Weil die Leute, die stinkig sind, sind einfach zwölfjährige, naja. Nee, das sind einfach Menschen, die ein bisschen sich angepisst fühlen möchten. I'm not saying it's a terrible game. I'm saying it's fun, but it's not realistic. Moving on to the mid corner performance. Um, I think that you know I mentioned before with the force feedback being awkward and having this like wobbling effect. I'm not quite sure, and I think it's due to like my lack of experience driving on ACC. Intuitively, everything I'm feeling it says that it's just something's off. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it just feels numb. That's just the only thing. I, I don't feel a sense of connection to it where I, I just don't know where the grip is. I don't understand it yet. And you know, it's, it's just not intuitive. Being a driver that drives that car in real life, you would think a simulation software, you would want it to be intuitive where you jump in and go with almost like a seamless transition, but I just find that there's something off. I don't know if it's just over dampened where you don't feel anything or uh, if I just don't have enough experience, it's hard to say. I just know that my intuition is telling me that something's wrong there. Und ich glaube, das ist auch das Wichtigste, oder? Also jetzt mal wirklich, es schied egal, ob man das jetzt mag oder nicht, weil seine Intuition ist ja die richtige Intuition, weil, wie gesagt, er fährt ja im Real Life nicht nur ein Straßenfahrrad oder ein Skateboard oder so, sondern er fährt ja dasselbe Auto, also er vergleicht ja auch gerade, er sitzt ja auch die ganze Zeit im Mercedes drin. Ich finde das schon sehr valide, was er sagt. 
where it's like numb and over dampened. It's almost like the game wants you to feel a certain way or a certain feeling, but coming right from the real car recently at Circuit of the Americas, I just don't I don't see it. I just don't feel that connection. So not much else I can really elaborate on. It's just more of a feeling thing uh, for me. And uh, if I want to pin it down to one particular thing, I feel like it's over dampened. In terms of on throttle performance, uh, it's it's a tough one. I just, again, it's almost um, continuing with that trend of being over dampened from the mid corner. It definitely is nicer than I would say eye racing off the corner, mainly because the thermal model on the tire, I feel like it's more forgiving, which is nice. You can be a bit more aggressive off the corner, which in real life we're pretty aggressive off. Yeah, that's true. Also, ACC can't so richtig rein strampeln, Junge. In iRacing, there's a very particular, or in other sims, I'm not really sure in the other sims, but I know in iRacing, there's a very particular way you would accelerate. And I'd say at least it's um, a technique that is more in line with how I would typically drive in real life. You know, step throttling, let's say. So getting to a certain percentage, locking the diff and throttling up the rest. It's more in line with how I would drive in real life. Whereas in ACC, I'm, again, not a lot of experience on throttle, but it is more forgiving based on the thermal model. The tires don't overheat if you have one slide. In iRacing, if you slide on entry, you just write the corner off in the next 10 seconds after that. So I think we can agree on it. The tire temperature thing on iRacing is like something that needs to be worked on. In ACC, it's great because I feel like you could slide a little bit more and hustle the car probably in the corner. Yep, Even absolutely. though it's a bit numb, yep. it doesn't punish you yep. on exit. So at least you have more forgiveness on exit. Mm -hmm. I just don't quite know what the technique is or what the ideal technique is. It's just not something I'm very comfortable with yet. So uh, intuitively, it just doesn't feel right. Again, over dampened, numb, that's the only thing I can put my finger on. Mid corner and on throttle is a little bit numb, but I do like that it's forgiving with the throttle, uh, with the tire, sorry, the tire temperature. Just feel like you can drive it a little bit harder and just have a little bit more fun throwing it around. That just about wraps up my initial thoughts on ACC. It is cool. I, I love playing it now. I Well, maybe not love. I enjoy playing it. It's fun. Okay, and I think we can distinguish, like I said, the difference between fun and realistic. It is fun to race. I've been doing some community races with uh, some people within the Moradness community, and uh, it is it is a ton of fun. But realism, it's still a little bit far away from that. Um, There's certain great elements like the graphics, the loading time, the UI is really nice. I find the sound is a little bit overdone, a little oversaturated. Um, and the force feedback and motion is a little odd or off-putting to me. I feel like maybe with a little fine-tuning it can be adjusted. But the thing that kills it for me in terms of a realistic simulator is just the driving and the car behavior and characteristics. Um, although it's gotten a little bit better, a little bit, it's still not where it needs to be. In terms ich finde es so schön, wie er so, uh, wie sagt man das denn? so neutral ist. Also er versucht gerade wirklich so einen Shitstorm zu umschiffen. In terms of the brake timing and just the cadence of everything that goes on through the corner. Uh, also that lack of feel for me mid corner. Again, it could be something that I'm doing wrong. Oh, diplomatisch ist ein sehr gutes Wort. Er, er versucht es sehr diplomatisch. Finde ich aber auch ganz nett. Also ich würde das nicht machen. Ich würde da reinhalten, aber... Gut. And just so you know, I don't have stability control on because that has been an issue. If you know, you know. I tried it without stability control, okay? I know what I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's just, it, it's fun. It's not realistic. We'll leave it at that. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Is there a perfect sim? No, there is no perfect simulator software. If we can blend them all together, we probably arrive at something pretty close. But at the end of the day, it's really what, what it comes down to. Are you team iRacing? Are you team ACC? Ich bin Team Sim Racing seit vorletztem Jahr. Nee, letztes Jahr. Ich bin absolut Team Sim Racing. Ey, fahrt, was ihr Bock habt. Solange ihr Spaß habt. 
Hier geht es nicht um Realismus. Wenn du Realismus willst, fährst du im realen Leben. Habt einfach Spaß, fahrt, was ihr wollt. Popel in der Nase, fahr ETS, ATS, ACC, AC, Pff, Automobilista, meinetwegen auch Rennsport, wenn dich das abholt. Oder iRacing. Fahr einfach, worauf du Bock hast. Was dir halt, was deine persönlichen Bedürfnisse erfüllt. Ganz einfach. Race Room auch noch, haben wir auch im Angebot. Hey, do it. Can we all live happily together? Is that possible? It doesn't have to be so so separated. We can all just have fun and enjoy Danke. playing video games at the end of the day. We're driving pretend race cars. That's a lot of fun and I thoroughly enjoy it. At the end of the day, racing is racing. It doesn't matter how it feels or what it does. Yep. How you're enjoying it. Danke für diesen Eindruck. Also ich wurde heute darauf vorgewarnt, dass das Video wohl ein bisschen äh, wild ist, aber äh, ich finde hier überhaupt nichts wild dran. Ne? Ich finde das sogar sehr cool, dass da mal jemand einen Namen für findet, für die Dinge, die nicht geil sind. Finde ich voll in Ordnung. Also wirklich. Also wenn ich mal überlege, als ich, wann habe ich angefangen, Mike? Wann, wann war das? 19? Als Mike noch da ist? Meine ersten Versuche in iRacing waren eine absolute Katastrophe, Alter. Ganz schlimm.